We are here at the other palace and on the 9th of June we are opening the European premiere of Heather's The Musical starring Carrie Hope Fletcher. It suddenly got really real when you said that. <laughs> it's, it's very um, real. We start yeah. rehearsals in three weeks time um, and there's this curious mixture of fear, excitement. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, terrified, nervous, but so excited to yeah. be part of it. So excited. I've loved, loved, let me say that again. I've loved Heather's since like 2015 when yeah. my friend who was playing Marius, Rob Houchin, sent me a video of one of the songs and was like, you sound great singing this. And then like discovered it and stumbled across it and just completely fell in love. And it's clearly hit the zeitgeist. Like it's been so popular here at the other palace. And I think that's probably because of the, the music, mm -hmm. the, the messages uh, within the show in terms of um, bullying mm -hmm. and dealing with bullying. Um, but also I think at the moment there's a really, um, people are wanting to look back to the 80s and that era and yeah. it's the hair, the makeup, the, <laughs> the costume. Outfits, I'm, I'm yeah. excited about the costumes. I'm, I cannot wait to see what my costume's going to be like. Shoulder pads. Lots, Lots of shoulder, shoulder pads. pads. Big hair. As Big well. hair. <laughs> Nobody puts baby okay. in a corner. Uh, Dirty, dirty dancing. Which I've only ever seen I forgot, I was going to say the line. I forgot my <laughs> first word. I was like... Okay. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas, half a packet of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Croquet, Blues Brothers. Correct. Oh, God, you're really good. <laughs> oh, no, this is going to be so embarrassing. It's true. I chopped him up, but I didn't kill him. Croquet, is that a Little Shop of Horrors? Oh, classic, which is coming back. Uh, round two, name the film from the song. So there's three songs, and you can shout your buzzwords anytime. Okay. So first up, Papa, can you hear me? Chainsaw. <laughs> Yentl. Yeah. Thank God for Emma Kingston. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've got one. Yes. I was just going to say Xanadu, but I actually knew that one. Oh. Yentl. Hot lunch jam. Not alone. Out here on my own. <laughs> Chainsaw. Fame. Ah. Oh. I'm, I'm getting there. Get in there. Three, two. On my own. You know that one. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. It's like a big Can you sing anthem. it? I'm not singing. You could, you could give it a go. You don't know it. I don't know it. <laughs> Victoria Hamilton Barrett does a me now here on my own. Okay. I'll Google it when I'm home. Round three. Complete the lyric. We saw the writing on the wall as we felt this magical. Chainsaw. Fantasy. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Time of my life. Dead dancing. Love that. Three, three. Three, three. Question two. Look at this trove, treasures untold. A croquet! How many wonders can one cabin hold? <laughs> oh, <sugar laughs> yeah. 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 Question three. When I'm stuck with a day that's grey and... Chainsaw. No! Lonely! <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it. It's Rise Tomorrow well, from Annie. That one, so, it's fine. <laughs> so that's for all. So the tie break question, closest wins. In what year was the, was the Heather's film released in the United States. Paul Tanner Mills. I'm going to go with 86. Carry okay, pleasure. Well, I'm going to go with 89, because in the show she says 1989. So I, I'm going to go with that. Oh, logical. Let's see what you did there. The actual answer is 1988. So Carrie Hope Fletcher oh, wins the quiz. <laughs> I was born in the 80s. This is so embarrassing. Oh. Come and see Heather's the Musical here at the Other Palace starting on the 9th of June and finishing on the 4th of August.